Life is grand. Born here from Ballroom Mastery, how are you on this fine evening? I'm doing my best not to wake the kids up downstairs, so we're gonna do some rumba, as opposed to the jive last night, which by the way, woke no one up, so that's pretty cool. I've got a really fun, interesting take, I suppose, on uh, doing an entry for you men, but also something that we can all practice together. Uh, it's not a, the most common thing I would say for men to do spiral turns in the rumba, but I freaking love them. I think they're a great step. I think you're a nice addition. So let me show you a little piece you can practice with, and we're also gonna then end it with the uh, last few steps of a checked turn, or the last ending of a fan for the ladies, or the Aida steps. Uh, whatever you call it, as long as you do it amazingly, and then I'll show you a little way you can play with the timing to change it up a little bit, make it a bit more interesting, a little bit more advanced. So here we go, without further ado. Maybe I'll try it with some music and stuff. Again, go this way. Right, so let's play with that one a little bit, shall we? So what did we do? Just do. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. To start off with, just put your weight on your left foot, and then we're gonna do a basic spot turn. So with the right foot, brush, step forward with the right foot again, and this time create a spiral turn, right? And go right up into your toes, right? Lower the left, the right heel, step forward on the left foot, Step forward on the right foot, and this is the checked turn, and then step back on the left foot. Okay, and you have the right foot free at the end of this to commence it all again, because I know you want to do it again, don't you, right? Every time, baby. Okay, so I'll try to do it, uh, depending on the angle, this way to see how, actually, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll take a risk. Let's try doing it where I cannot see, but maybe towards you. Okay, so from here. All right, so with the right foot, I'm gonna go forward. Two, three, four, one, then forward on two, step forward on three and turn, and then back on the left foot, I'll be out of frame for one, okay? So, that's why I had to do it on a weird angle. Okay, so where can we play with the timing? We can syncopate it and make it a bit more interesting. So, I'll do it on this angle again. So with the right foot, I'll do my spot turn. Two, three, four, one, hold the two, and then at the end of two, I'll go forward, three and four. So that way creates a bit more interesting timing. When you do a step like that, it's better, instead of taking three steps, close your feet in the middle, right? So at the end of your spiral, step forward on the left foot, but instead of stepping forward, where you would have a whole count of music on the, the previous version, close there instead, and then step back. It will create a tighter turn, It'll be much faster and a little bit more pleasing to the eye, won't it? Because it won't be as predictable. So if I'm watching, I'll be like, oh, that's, that's a nice little way to do it, isn't it? Let's try it to music one more time together, shall we? Here we go, cracking on with the music. And two, three, four. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, and four. And then if we repeat that, but I won't do it that way, I'll hit something. And two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. That's the idea. Fun way to dance, isn't it? Okay, so there's one more thing you can do to really make it a little bit more spongy and more challenging for yourself at home. You can try this. Uh, haven't talked about the entry, but on the actual uh, spiral itself here, you can take a lot more time and really grow that spiral all the way for as long as you want really. You could do a bar, right? That's always a challenge. So we could go two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, one, still holding that two, then catch up three and four, one. So that'd be a little bit more advanced, of course, but wouldn't that look a bit more artistic and a bit more fun? So, you know, like anything, you take a bit more of a risk when you're trying to control the balance, so you always gotta do your best to hold your core, lengthen to the ceiling, and be uh, vertical through your spine. Let's try that one to music and see how we go, shall we? Two, three, four. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, and four. Yeah, that's the idea. Now it's your turn, use this music. 
two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, boom. That's the idea. All right. So with that in mind, keep the rhythm for front and center. Always be aware of the feeling of rumba, what you're trying to produce, know where to speed up and slow down. Uh, one of the things that you can do at the beginning of this sort of step, okay, because it's starting with a spot turn, so it's quite a simple thing to do, uh, but essentially in the beginning, you could go create like a nice big, like juicy lunge, right, come right up, ah, stretch to the heavens, and then off you go, boom, boom, right? There's infinite sort of ways you can do the beginning of this step, uh, just to give yourself a bit of, you know, I don't know, elasticity to play with. Okay, so if you've liked this, hit the like button, hit the share button. Tell your dance friends out there that we exist. Check out Dance at Home, check out Boring Master. We've got lots of free training, lots of stuff for you. Thank you, Ulrich. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in today, and I'll see you in the next episode.